Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mask with Affinity Publisher. So masking is essentially taking one shape and blocking out parts of what's below it. That will become clear in just a second as we do our first mask. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can do these. These are both very simple ways. So right now I have a rectangle shape here in my layers and it's just filled with a pattern. And then below that I have a heart shape. So when this is done, the pattern will be within the heart and you won't see anything outside of the heart. So let's turn our layers back on. I have the shape that I want to contain the pattern underneath and I have the pattern on top. I'm going to take that pattern in the layers, drag it down and drag it to the right. And that's going to mask it underneath the shape. And it's as simple as that. So that's method number one. I'm going to command Z to undo that control Z. If you're on a Mac, uh, sorry, on a PC, and I'm going to rearrange these layers. So now I'm going to put the pattern below the heart. And because I don't want to mask like we just did, I'm going to pull straight down, but kind of veer towards the left a little bit so that it doesn't nest under my shape. So now my layers are rearranged and the heart is on top and the pattern is on the bottom. Now I'm going to click on the heart and I'm going to right click and choose masked to below. And there we have it, another way to mask. So those are two easy ways that you can mask Infinity Publisher. I hope you found that helpful.